but just by the <gasps> latter half, Quid was playing it out really well. Hold now, on a second. Grand finals time. Okay. Not the trainer you're used to. It's Steve time, folks. So, okay. So, um, so Quid Steve. I have only seen him play this character once. It was where he faced off against Miles in Grand Finals after Miles had knocked him into losers. And he 6 owed Miles. 6 owed him not even close with this Steve. So despite the fact that everyone knows Quid for his Pokemon trainer, this Steve is 100% a threat that you have to be so careful around. Now the real question is, is it going to be threatening to Tilda? Uh, I mean, already. Del considering the fact that when he played Pokemon Trainer, he died. It was got zero to death. That's how he opened the set. And already has a sizable lead that he can work with here. Playing out a much more patient game and having a character that facilitates a much heavier anti-air game, I think the Steve pick was really good. And starting things off on Town and City, I think also a really good call because that's a lot of space that Steve can safely defend himself and mine with. But Falco closes the distance. Falco can be fatal. Oh, I like that. Putting up the blocks so that he doesn't have to worry about that. As the laser games, he can mine to his heart's content. He does have diamond weapons now, so the damage and the combos from uh, from Steve are going to be much, much worse at these lower percents, especially. That's very true, but I feel like Steve is not going to find a reliable opportunity to get in. you got to wait for Tilde to press a button and punish accordingly. And once you actually get on top of him, do not drop the combo. <gasps> So smart, dropping down those blocks in order to keep Tilde from actually being able to approach. Oh, and that up smash, he's living, but oh. Yo, any man. other character, I feel <laughs> like you gotta hold that. Falco, no, your jumps are too good. You don't really have to respect Steve unless he is able to cover that top plat as well. And this ledge play looking fantastic for Tilde. Tilde, he's so close to winning as Zeno. I believe that would be his first Zeno win ever. I think either way, these are new champions uh, from either Oh, player. yeah. Oh, but it's still a toss-up as to who will actually take home the gold. Quid being able to respond like that quickly, it's massive to keep him from uh, really dropping early. One thing I want to point out, because Tilde has done this so consistently in game one, is Reflector as a response to Minecart. It's been so helpful in staving any of that aggressive pressure that Quid is trying to turn in his reversals. Oh. He misses back air, though. That move forward smash so close to landing. And at this point, is that going to be it? Just barely missing. Even when Steve, with his crappy, crappy jumps, is able to get away from it. But that time, no, the up smash finding its mark. And Quid, that Steve did work out pretty well, but we might not be seeing it for game two. I know that uh, Quid, despite the fact that his Steve is super solid, uh, he doesn't like to play him. So it might have been like, uh, I need to win. You know, I'm in Zeno. I made it all the way to Grands. I want to try to win. Let me see if this surprise pick can do it for me. Nope. And since it didn't work game one, it came very close to working, but it didn't work. He might switch back to PT and try and make wise, the run back. He looks so prepared. Like, Tilde looks so prepared to answer to this. I team. will say that that is true. Yes. Um, yeah, drifting over the trainer. It looks like that's going to be the pick going into game two for Quid. And I think it makes a lot of sense. It's just the Steve wasn't able to keep enough pressure. There really was no surprises. I mean, it, it, I think it's just that you're right. Like you mentioned, the reflector. All of these Steve things that normally are really good for the character. Uh, Tilde clearly has experience. He clearly has played against him. So now he's going to go back to Old Faithful, the Pokemon trainer. And <gasps> Squirtle I, was going to die off the top from one string in the beginning. I mean, that's what happened at the, at the start of Winner's Finals. So, oh, we're oh, going, buddy. He's fine. He's got his wall jump. I mean, he might not be that fine. Okay. He's fine enough. Committing to water gun at that much of a charge. Unfortunately, giving the ledge uh, back to Tilde, but keep the damage up. Here we go. Ivy's time to shine. This stage works out so well for Axel because it's a lot of space that he can comfortably shine. Like, keep control of the ledge and then juggle effectively. <gasps> Down tilt. And rarely seen move from po Ivy Store, but as. <laughs> It just when the right situation. It's the perfect option to choose. And Quid's so aware of exactly what he needs in these moments. Oh, the fact that the backer could not be reversed. They're gonna do it? No, really good DI from Quid. Keeps him alive. Re-grabbing the ledge and gets away with it. Oh, at this point, Quid, he's had a, he's got that yeah, no, stop, you can't. it's massive. All right. Can Quid maintain this lead? He's not going to be allowed to. 
Down air gonna be finding its mark. That's two to two on the stock count. All right, he's gonna be switching to Squirtle. Yeah, like that's the sort of thing where when you are low percent Charizard, you don't want to be eating these massive combos, so you're going to be mashing that down B button. And Tilden doesn't, didn't quite punish it maybe as much as he could have, considering that it's, it's almost a guarantee that the BT is going to go for it. The Rar Bear, just to extend the damage just a little bit longer, I feel like that's where this pick into Kalos is just a little iffy, because now that's so much space, where yes, if you get those consistent hits, like your damage is OD. But if you're try taking too much time what to track you your opponent, the angle! The angle on it! Oh, yeah, no, not that one, not that angle! <laughs> I mean, uh, what angle was the correct angle at that point? Maybe angle down so that you don't get hit, you know what I mean? Just die on your own terms. Was he dead? No, not yet. I mean, I mean, the what comes next, he might be dead. Oh, wow, gets past him. Oh, but for how long? No, back here, find its marks. And we're on the one stock to one stock count. Tilde can just end this night here and now. Oh. Every step between these two players, and any set these two players have been in has been high octane. When they crash into each other, though, these stocks dropping so fast, I feel like Tilde's the one who's more comfortable at this pace. Well, but keep in mind, despite whatever, you know, if Tilde has a lead, if Quid has the lead, in this game at least, Quid's been taking stocks first. And now that we're down to this last stock situation, all Quid needs to do is get another hard read, and he could possibly, I mean, keep himself alive here. Oh, but right now he's got to worry about keeping the stock alive. Tilde on the hunt, down tilt, finds its mark, and forwarder catching out of the air. Tilde's tonight's champion, winning 2 0 over Quid. Oh, those down tilts coming in so good for him. And Quid making a fantastic run coming down from Westchester to blow through most of New York, but nope. The Tilde house is was defended, and a new champion is crowned. Catch that air dodge. We'll be seeing ya. Oh, man. Woo! Yeah, Tilde played so well tonight. So, so, so well. Absolutely deserves the first place finish that he is walking home with. And you know, for a while now, Tilde has been like right on the verge. He gets into the top eight. Then you see him in the top six. We see him in the top four. And sometimes he's just falling short. Not tonight, though. Yeah. No, and this was no. a very important night to perform well.